as far as a man, if he was seriously injured or whatever has he done. But, you know, get carried out the ring, brother. Get carried out the ring. You know, it's it's, it's not all give knocking people on counters and you, your eye goes and, and then you want to get out. You know, I've got all the time in the world for, for Triple D and uh, he can come again, but it's going to take a long, 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 long road back from that. Those are the words of Billy Joe Saunders. <laughs> and this is coming from, <laughs> of course, you can see Dillian White <clears throat> and his <laughs> trolling of Billy Joe. And <clears throat> there is a thing that, and a reason why you shouldn't say so many things about other fighters. I mentioned this um, in my latest video, Billy Joe, but um you have to be careful what you say you don't want to you don't want to be that hypocrite guy you don't want that jacket because <clears throat> you can say what you would have done could have done should have done but what will you do that's the question and the question you ask yourself what did billy joe do now dubois he, it was the 10th round Okay, fair play. It was the ninth round for Billy Joe. So he had four rounds left. Ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Now, there's been people that fought with broken a lot of things. Okay, regardless of what anybody else thinks, it's up to you initially. So Dillian White, of course, yeah. Dillian White's going to troll you. Other people are going to troll you. He was the king of trolling. Billy Joe Saunders was that guy that talked shit about anybody and everybody. He called Canelo a ginger cunt when he, when he dropped that belt with Golovkin. You guys remember that? <laughs> you know, and uh, he said that about Triple D is going to take a long road back from the way he did get carried out of the ring. Was he carried out of the ring? No, he wasn't. He walked out after he, after he quit off on that stool and he didn't even make a comment or anything like that. He pulled an Adrian Broner. And we know Adrian Broner was hurt, hurt, hurt. <laughs> right? So, I mean, those type of things happen when you say things and then you have to be ready to back them up. And Billy Joe Saunders weren't. Now, I'm not talking about his injury because, I mean, hey, Daniel Dubois had an injury. A lot of people had an injury, but like he said, get, get carried out, brother. You guys heard that? Get, get carried out. So I feel that Dillian White's going to troll him. You know he's going to troll him because, you know, Dillian White, those guys, if you look, look, if you pretend to be on this side or, or, or in this group of people, that believe in, hey, blood, sweat, tears, you weren't willing to, you willing to do anything and die in the ring and this and that and the other. And we heard the shit that Billy Joe said to rouse everybody up, the demands he made and everything else that played a part in making this fight happen. We've heard what he said about everything, about his determination. We didn't see that when he got caught with one punch. One. Sure, he got caught with others after that point, but come on, that was one punch that damaged that eye. Look, let's look at it this way. <clears throat> Canelo Alvarez, yeah, he has some punches that will hurt you. He's a hard puncher. He's a counter puncher. So for one, if the element of surprise is a hell of a thing. Then he can punch on top of that. So that's like that's like Edis Landy Lada when Canelo went up, caught him with that left uppercut. Okay, it split his eye open. It was leaking, right? He probably lost the duration of that round. He moved. He did what he needed to do to get that back. But did he quit, though? Hell no. If he would have quit, people would have questioned his heart. Like, dude, you were winning the fight and you quit? So Billy Joe has no excuses. You know, he decided to quit. He quit. But at the end of the day, you can't say anything about anybody that has something to say about you because you did the same shit that you blasted other people for doing. He quit. Mark Tibbs can, can half-ass do damage control for you all you want, but at the end of the day, you quit on your stool. And as a matter of fact, this is what I'll do before dropping this video. I'll leave the link uh, below and ask you guys, 
because it's all about you guys at the end of the day. Strength in numbers. Did Billy Joe quit? And then you guys can look in this video, you know, and tell me in the comment section or in the community section why you think he quit. So you guys go on over there. Of course, watch this video. The link will be over there also. Did Billy Joe quit? <laughs> Is Dillian White wrong for trolling Billy Joe the way that he's trolling Billy Joe? You guys let me know. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.